everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, those links you can find in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Oh my goodness, today's DIY is a bit different and it is one that I'm really excited about because it is something that I have wanted to learn how to do for years now. And I'm not really sure why I haven't done it until now, but I'm doing it now and I am so excited because a lot of you have been asking me to do a DIY tutorial on this and I hadn't done it yet because I personally didn't know how to do it. But like I said, it was something I wanted to do so I looked into it and boy oh boy, I'm excited. Today I'm gonna be doing a DIY homemade soap. Oh my goodness, I love the look of homemade soap bars. I think that they are so rustic, they are so homemade and handmade. They just have that, I don't know, that raw soap feel to them that I just love. And honestly, I hate using them because I hate ruining them because I love the look of them so much, but they really are great bars of soap to use as well. Today, I am gonna be showing you how to make your own soap. And I started out using this kit that I got from Hobby Lobby. This kit here is by Life of the Party and it's an oatmeal vanilla soap making kit and it was priced at $19.99 but I was allowed to use a 50% off coupon with it so I got it for $10 and that is the only reason that I bought it because I didn't want to invest in a bunch of the soap blocks and the dyes and the scents and the molds if it was something that I didn't like and so I figured to get my feet wet, I would try out this kit because this kit has everything you need to make. What it says is, how many bars of soap? I thought I read 10. Wait, how many bars? Oh yeah, 10. Okay, yeah, it has everything you need to make 10 bars of soap. But let me tell you, I've already done this because I've done the DIY already and it made about 15 or 16 bars. and. I was pretty floored by that. So 15 or 16 bars of soap for the price of $10 for my first round of making soap is a win-win. And I'm gonna tell you now, I love making soap. And so I'm not gonna wait to the end to tell you that. This was such a fun kit. If you've never made soap and you really want to, and you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, I would definitely go to Hobby Lobby, pick up one of these kits and try it out and see if you like it before you go investing in all of the other stuff. This was a great kit. I'm gonna open it up with you and I'm gonna do this kit. It has all of the instructions with it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let's try making some soap today. And let me show you just how quick and easy it is to do. I love this. Alrighty, so let's get started and let's open this up and see what comes in this kit that's gonna make us 10 bars of soap, but really it makes more for the bargain price of not $19.99, but the $10 that I paid because I used a 50% off coupon. And I gotta tell ya, I really don't mind paying the $10 when I wasn't sure if I was gonna like making soap or not. Alrighty, so here we've got not too many items in here. We've got the directions here that I'm gonna set aside and we've got an eight and a half by 11 piece of decorative scrapbooking paper. We've also got a pack of oatmeal powder, so obviously this is to add to the soap mixture if you'd like. And we've got a yellow soap dye that is taped to the creamy vanilla fragrance. We've got a reusable soap mold that has four molds in it, and I am loving all four of these molds, and I love that it's reusable, so this is definitely something that I'm gonna put in my stash when I make my kit. And it also came with a two pound block of this Shea butter soap. From the Dollar Tree, I did pick up one of these plastic measuring cups that I am going to add to my kit as well. And you're also going to need some rubbing alcohol. This is a must because there is a hack involved in making soap. 
the perfect bar of soap. From the Dollar Tree, I had picked up these mini pump spray bottles a while ago. They're new by Crafters Square. They're gonna come in handy for this because you need to fill up a spray bottle that actually mists, not sprays, and you're gonna fill it up with the rubbing alcohol. Now, when I tell you I take stock in these Dollar Tree chopping mats, I really do. These are a two pack and these are so handy to keep on hand. I paint with them. I use them when making candles. And in this case, I'm gonna be using them to make soap because it really does protect your surface and it's easy to clean up and wipe off. And if you need to throw it away, no biggie because it was 50 cents. Alrighty, now let's get to the good part and start making some soap. Using a knife, I'm gonna cut off three rows of this block. This is a pretty soft soap, and I'm guessing that's because it's a Shea butter. It's got that creamy texture to it. And so I think I'm just gonna start off by using three of these rows, and if I need more, I'll go from there, but I wanna start off little and then work my way up if I need it. Once I've got my three rows, I'm gonna cut these into blocks because I think it's gonna be easier for it to melt down and it's gonna melt down a bit quicker. Once I've got my soap all cubed up, I'm gonna place it in this measuring cup. This measuring cup is a microwave safe measuring cup, so we're good to put this in the microwave. The directions give you basic melting instructions, and so it does say to cut the soap into cubes, but it also says not to overheat the soap and to heat the soap in 20 second intervals. And then after you've done the 20 seconds, it says to go into five second intervals. Let's get this in the microwave. Let's get this soap melted so I could show you just how quick and easy it is to make this soap. So I started off with the 20 seconds. After the 20 seconds, I saw that really there wasn't much melting going on. The cubes were still good and hard and keeping their shape. So I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do a five second interval because I knew that the soap wasn't gonna melt in five seconds. This is about what I had after two 20 second intervals here. The soap is still pretty hard. It still is keeping its shape basically. So I'm gonna place it back in the microwave for another 20 seconds and I'm just gonna kinda go from there using my own judgment. It took about, I would say 40 seconds total to melt this down. I did do three 20 second intervals and then I did some fives and it seemed to work. I'm happy with how melted the soap is, so now I'm gonna take the soap coloring, or the soap dye, not sure of the terminology, and I'm gonna start off a bit light-handed, add a few drops and stir, and I'm just gonna keep adding drops and stirring until I achieve the color that I'm happy with. Now I'm gonna add some of the creamy vanilla scent, and I'm not really sure how fragrant this oil is, and so I did start off with about eight or 10 drops, once I stirred it, I realized that it really wasn't all that strong of a fragrance. So I went in, I added a bit more. I could start to smell that vanilla aroma and so I was happy with it. Now this is where the hack of using the rubbing alcohol spray comes in. There are real small air bubbles in the soap. If you take and just mist the alcohol over it, it takes all of the air bubbles away and you've got a smooth soap. I'm gonna start off by only adding this smooth soap mixture to two of the molds so I can save the other two molds for when I add the oatmeal powder to the mixture. Once you've poured your soap, you can see here I zoomed in at these real small air bubbles. Now, if you leave your soap like this, these are gonna pop and there's going to be holes in your soap. But you can see after I sprayed the alcohol, it really smoothed out the soap and this is how you get a perfect smooth bar of soap. Now I'm gonna take the oatmeal powder and I'm gonna add this to the remaining soap that I have melted here. And I'm not gonna add the whole pack because I only have a minimal amount of soap here. So I'm just gonna add a bit. I'm gonna stir it with my wood spoon. And when you're adding this oatmeal soap, I did read that it doesn't always have a smooth consistency because of the flakes of oatmeal. So that's okay, just kind of mix it and break it up the best that you can. 
I'm gonna fill these last two salt molds with this oatmeal mixture. Now you can see as I pour it that there are a lot of little air bubbles. And again, you wanna get rid of those because you're not gonna have a nice smooth bar. And so I think it's just stinking amazing that when you spray this alcohol on it, how it just takes it away. I love that. I think that this is the best hack ever. So now I'm gonna take this mold if you want, you can leave it out to dry at room temperature. It's gonna take a while, but I personally am gonna pop mine in the fridge, and I think in about an hour or so, it's gonna be hard and ready to pop out of these molds. When I bought this soap kit, I did see that all of their soap supplies were on sale, and so I did go ahead and pick up two more of these molds. Something told me I was really gonna like this. I really liked these molds, and so because I had a bit extra left over, I decided just to fill up this mold in one of the molds that I bought, giving me a fifth bar of soap. I ended up leaving these soap molds in the refrigerator, I'd say for about a good hour, and these popped right out. Now, I will tell you, if you have trouble popping your molds out, it is because the soap is not completely hardened and solidified and dried. And so, in that event, you do need to put it back in the refrigerator because they should pop out pretty easily. Ha! Huh. And would you look at that? Look at how perfect this bar of soap came out. The surface is flawless. It is smooth, it is beautiful, and this was quick and easy to do. I am so stinking excited at the outcome. I am loving this oatmeal bar as well. Look at how cool that looks. These are awesome. I might have to actually try and use these. Not sure, I'm really liking the look of these, and for the first time, not too bad. I think just to dress these up a bit, I'm gonna take some of the scrapbooking paper that was provided in the kit itself, and I'm gonna cut it into one inch strips. And I think I'm just gonna wrap it around the bar itself. I'm gonna use my advanced tape glider to tape the two ends of the paper together. If you wanna use an adhesive glue like Aileen's, you can. I will tell you that this adhesive glider, you can get it at Joann's or Michael's. They're about $20. But if you use a 40 or 50% off coupon, you're gonna pay anywhere from 10 to 13 and it's so worth it. Dollar Tree has these wood letters that I thought would really make as a cute embellishment if you're gifting this or maybe putting it in a gift basket, maybe put the initial of their last name or their first name. I think I'm gonna go the route of using these DIY wood stickers that the Dollar Tree carried this Christmas season. I think this snowflake is gonna be an adorable addition. I think that the tree would be adorable just to add to the top of the paper here. I am loving this. There are endless possibilities when embellishing these soaps for either your bathroom or if you're gonna gift them. And because I'm me and I love twine, I decided to add a bit of twine as well. I gotta tell you, I couldn't be happier with the outcome of this soap. I think that it was super easy to do. It was so budget friendly for the bargain price of $10. I used three rows of soap and ended up with five bars. And I still had, I'd say three quarters of my block left. And so I'm easily gonna say that I can make another 10 bars of soap using this here, what's left over. I'm in love with these soap bars, and after making these and seeing how easy they are and all the possibilities of things that you can incorporate into these soap bars, I think that this is another gift that I am going to add to my homemade gifts that I give this year because it's so budget friendly and I love making them and I just wanna make soap for everybody now. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial of how I made soap for the first time using this kit that you can get at Hobby Lobby. I kid you not, for $10 using the coupon. I'm thinking that I am definitely going to be investing in some of the blocks of soap. I'm definitely gonna get some of the dye and the scents, and I wanna incorporate some other items into these soap bars because I love making them. So if this is something that you all are interested in seeing more of, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of these, like I always say, leave me a comment in the comments below because I go off of your feedback. 
Let's get this video to 5,000 likes because each and every one of those thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.